All right, guys, I'm headed out to Macy's backstage. I'm gonna get me some facial cream. It's all overcast out there. Not a clear sky in sight. But it's supposed to be in the 70s today, so it is quite warm. Hey guys, just wanted to kind of show you today I went to Macy's backstage. I like to get my facial st stuff there. But I got this one. It's a night cream. But no, retinol. Repairing night cream with lavender essential oil. And you know I love lavender. And this was um, $4.99. So I got this one. And then I got a daytime one. I haven't used it yet. It's the same brand, which is Spa Life. That's the brand. I'm not dedicated to one brand or type of cream. And this one feels really nice on my skin and it smells good. So, so I got, this would be over a month's supply, these two little jars. This is Collagen Firming Day Cream. Helps plump the appearance. So I'll put that on in the morning. Okay, my homemade blueberry pancakes, turkey bacon, and some coffee with cream and sugar in it. Breakfast, yay. Okay, here it is, Wednesday, Thursday. Look at that, dark overhang over the top of us. Supposed to rain today. Ooh, it's chilly willy out here. Oh, your plant's gonna be okay. A little windy, yeah, it's coming in. <sighs> Sweatshirt weather. Another gloomy day. Rain, rain, rain. My little plants like it. They love the rain. Summer comes, we'll be crying for this. A little cold. I got a long sleeve. Leggings on. It's a little nippy. <laughs> kind of steadily coming down, a little drizzle. Well, we had a little rain. And it still looks like rain clouds coming in. So, it's a little cool. All right, look at these clouds up here. Oh my goodness. It is just this weather here reminds me of Scotland in the morning there's always this little mist that comes down it's just like so refreshing on your face but it's kind of cold cold but I was there in June I tell you it's sweatshirt weather pretty much the second time I went there in June it was a little warmer in June they said that had never really been like that look at those clouds rolling in oh my goodness we're gonna have all kinds of rain look at that look at that a little gap at the bottom big clouds not raining now but it's gonna really start storming here in a little bit it looks like but it could just run past us I don't think so this time. But yeah, reminds me of Scotland. My beloved country, Scotland. And I still have my Easter stuff out. I just decorated the table for St. Patty's Day. We'll have corned beef and cabbage tomorrow. Yeah, so anyway, that'll be a nice little table setting for tomorrow for corned beef and cabbage and potatoes. Celebrate the Irish in us. Got my corned beef on. Get it to a boil and then I'll cover it, cook it for a couple hours, two or three hours, down in there somewhere. Happy St. Patty's Day. So I got my lucky shirt on. But anyway, that's my shirt from Walmart. Got me some leggings on. I even got my lucky socks on. You see those? <laughs> Little shamrocks and lambs. I'm going to cook my roast beef, cabbage, and potatoes later. A little Irish blood. Happy St. Patty's Day to everybody. And I'll show you my din din later. Okay. Beef, cabbage, and some potatoes. And milk. Din din. It's like 62 today. St. Patty's Day. A few clouds in the sky. Ooh, big one. <laughs> Gotta excuse how I look. This is just a normal day for me. I wanted to show you what I was crocheting. Now this pattern is, if you can see it, it's kind of like a, a stitch. Looks like little tracks down, if you could kind of see it. But it's like a little ridge. I don't know. They call it uh, a bar, type of bar stitch. But anyway, it's a pillow. It's about a good 
size for a couch for a little throw pillow. It was red because I, I've been trying to use up my yarn that I had. And I, I thought I had enough of this yarn to make this pillow. I ended up, I had to buy another thing of yarn. So I don't know. I think I did stitched it a little wrong. I don't know. I always am like a crooked stitcher. <laughs> So I got one side done and I'm working on the other side. And I may put, since I got extra fabric or extra yarn, I'll maybe put like little tass tassels on the end. But it'd be cute. I could save it for Christmas or later on in the year when I need a red pillow. And the other item I'm making, hopefully you can see that. Well, let's see. It's a skeleton face. But see, it's a little skull and then it's got like... I don't know, it's supposed to be like some kind of webbing or something around it. And I had this yarn. It's actually baby yarn. And it's got like silver threads in it, if you could see it. See, it's kind of shiny. Pink, gray, and white. But it's got these little silver threads through it. So you do one half, because it's kind of a scarf for your neck. So you do one half. I got one two, three, four, five, six squares on one side. And then you do the other side so the skulls are always, you know, facing the same direction. Pretty cool. Now, it'll probably have to be steamed or when I wash it after I get done that I'll lay it flat and it'll get all these ridges out, you know. It's a cute little design. It just, this is a project I started. Actually, this is the second one I started. I had started one before and I, I haven't finished it so then I got this I had this extra yarn and I said well let me do this so I got pretty much like half of it done I think I needed like one more square on here you know that's Aries Aries start stuff and then they throw it to the side and they forget about it so I'm like, you know, I need to finish all these projects. So I got it back out so I don't get bored. That's why I have two different kind of stitch patterns. It'll always keep me interested in it. When I get bored of doing this one, I jump over to this one. The only thing I don't like about this, I'll be so glad when I get done with this, those little threads I told you that's in here, they get snagged on your hook. And it's like when you go to pull the yarn through, it's hanging there and it gets tangled and it's a terrible yarn to crochet. Now, maybe if I was using a larger hook, I could probably maybe get around that. If you see, see, I got it in a wooden bow. You put your yarn in there. So as you pull it out, see, this is kind of like a ball. It'll just roll around in there. It's a good idea. I've seen that on YouTube or something. But see, there's my needle. Do you see a little bit? <laughs> Can you see how little that is? I think it's a C. Let me see here. <laughs> yep, a C needle. So that's pretty small. Like I said, I get snacks. I'll be glad to use up this yarn because I will never buy that again. But it does make a soft, for babies, like it's a soft feel to it. Where this one here is just regular all-purpose yarn, I guess. But it's uh, a little thicker and you can feel it. So that's what I'm working on. When I sit here and watch TV, I'm always trying. I said, let me always have a crochet and hook and, and some yarn in my, my hand because I could kind of crochet and watch TV. Now, I, I don't know the pattern by heart on this one, so I still have to kind of look at the directions. The red one, I already, you know, know what the directions, how to do it. So <laughs> I just got to keep, it's a repeat. One side you do one way and the other side you do the other way. I need to go get a haircut. You know, my birthday, it's my birthday month. I was supposed to go like Wednesday or Thursday. But I was kind of letting it grow out a little bit because they are training. And see, they didn't really blend it in. Kind of looks good if I go this way with it. But it is getting a little long. I think I'll kind of keep it long on top. But I think what I'm going to do is get it more texturized. Work with me a little better. I've always had... Me and my hair has always fought. We fought for years and years. <laughs> I think till I was in my mid-twenties. Somebody finally cut my hair the way it's supposed to be cut in layers. And after that, me and my hair got along. So, 
But it goes to, you know, being older, it, it goes through stages. And I don't know what it is, cause, but I don't think... I don't think the women had too much gray in in my family. There was a couple of my aunts that had real white hair, but they had like real blonde hair when they were, you know, that was their natural color. So when they went gray, it was it went white, you know. So gray is kind of weird. I don't know. The gray does something. It it's like sometimes it comes in coarser, and like around here, it'll be uh like not even curly it's more kinky it's like it's been like a little tiny spring that's what it looks like take out of an ink pen you know that's how they kind of look but then they look why well, i say uh because they they look like they've been smashed and it's like okay so i have that and they stick out this way growing old it's it's uh it's uh, an experience, I tell you that for sure, especially for women. As you know, we have that baby-making machine. And after a certain time period, whatever your body says, it's done with the baby-making machine. It starts closing shop. And your body goes through, I think, so much a woman's body when that starts shutting down. You know, men don't have that because a man, he could be 80. And as long as he could get that one little sperm out, he could get a young girl or a younger woman pregnant. But a woman, she has that time limit. She's got her body shuts down. She can't have no more babies after that. I think our bodies go through a lot. Our hair, you know, nails, our skin, stuff like that. Oh, oh, just tore my ear right, right out of my ear. <laughs> time for me to get off of here hey i'm headed out to get my hair cut and the way it is right now this is the kind of style i want to get it cut into kind of short here a little longer here where it'll lay down in the back see it's all sticking up it's like 62 degrees today we got clear skies it's gonna be 79 i already feel it i need to get me some lipstick some neutral color lipstick i'll show you what it looks like when it get done now i don't really have it fixed but here's how it came out she had only been there three months and she did an excellent job of course it's still wet but i love it happy birthday to me okay it's uh Dinner preparation time. So I got, this is, can you see that? Cajun style aduli smoked sausage. So it's got a little spice to it. I got some diced tomatoes and green chilies. Uh, it may seem hot that this is a hot meal or spicy, but it's kind of mild. Maybe I'm just kind of used to it. My standard, some onions and bell peppers. I'm going to put black beans and some corn. I divided it in half and I froze half a can because it does make quite a bit. And I got a couple of potatoes I'm going to put in there. I may make some yellow rice and we'll eat it over rice. But yeah, that's Din Din. 30 minute meal. Alright guys, here's the finishing touch. So I got like a yellow rice underneath. Vegetables. My sausage. I like to mix all mine up. And some milk. Din din. All right. Woo. Sunny out here. But it's got, uh, it's going to be like in the 70s today. Little clouds up there in the sky. There I can see you. <laughs> so me and my sister, we're going to go to Durango Casino. She's going to take me out for lunch for my birthday. And we'll just go gamble a little bit. So... I'm dressed in my pink. I got my little elephant on for good luck. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful day. A little windy. It's going to be windy. I think we may get some rain coming up next week. Clouds behind me coming in. Oh, there's a big one over there. There you go. Big one back there. All right. Hey, guys. I'm getting ready to head out with my sister. We're going to go thrifting. I wanted to show you the little clouds in the sky. Let the sun's out. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's sunny. It's probably be in the low 60s. We had a little rain yesterday. A little windy. You see the little the trees moving a little bit, but it feels good to me. Because <laughs> I got this old lady heat on. You know, old lady 
we get hot all the time. We look hot and we feel hot. That's how us women are, old women. <laughs> if I think about it, or remember, when we go in uh, thrifting, I'll take you with us. See if we find any a million dollar object. Wouldn't that be great? Oh yeah. So my sister found this little rabbit for me. A dollar. <laughs> got some candles. This is the little... Oh, they got a bunch of these candles here. Look at that. Oh, look my spring deco decorations. Hey guys. So I'm gonna finish my vlog here. I'm outside, it's a little overcast. We got a little drizzle coming down. Me and my sister are gonna to go to the casino. See if I get any luck. Got my lucky elephants on. <laughs> Clock tick it down to my big 72 years on this planet Earth. This video, this vlog was a little bit of St. Patty's. Not a whole lot going on. I'm still editing, editing it. <laughs> That's a process, but uh, Hopefully I'll get it out first of the week and then I'll have my little birthday, uh, whatever happens on my birthday. So, my little garden is doing good. Yeah, so I'm closing this week's vlog out. A lot of uh, rainy weather came through, a lot of winds. So it's not always sunny here. Today it's sprinkling, it's a little rain coming down. If you see the sky is overcast. I got little raindrops. Raindrops falling on my head. Oh, <laughs> so we'll end this vlog right here, uh, day before my birthday. Me and my sister is headed out to the casino again. She's going to be picking me up pretty soon. I just got a hoodie on and some jeans, my little frazzle boots. I don't know if you can see them. Friends boots. Oh, it's coming down pretty good now. So let me end this, and I'll talk to you later, alligator. Bye.